Hello, uh, welcome again. This is already the second week and uh, I hope you enjoyed the first week to uh, explore what the entire platform uh, is about. This introduction week where we connect, where we exchange and uh, by now everybody should be on, uh, on board. And uh, some of you we already have met through our webinar of last uh, Friday, which is now also available for uh, replay. The second week is a different week. It's about uh, concepts and uh, practices of uh, e-learning. And uh, in this short video, I just want to mention what you can expect uh, this week, because we are going to follow a structure, uh, and that structure will be repeated uh, every week. In the week of concepts and practices, we usually start with an appetizer. The appetizer is a moment of inspiration. Uh, classically, we are starting this week with a TED talk on online learning. If you have own inspirational videos or other inspiration elements that could be connected to the topic of the course, don't hesitate to share them uh, with us. The second part is basically food for thought. And uh, we thought the best way to start an e-learning course is to observe existing e-learning courses to see whether there are good practices, interesting practices, best practices, maybe also bad practices that we do not know. Our team has identified a selection of courses uh, for you which you can analyze. And of course, how are we going to analyze that is according to certain concepts uh, that we have about e-learning. For those who are, uh, let's say, starting in the field of e-learning, we can recommend this manual of uh, FAO. It's an introduction into e-learning methodologies, and we will mention it. We will mention it basically throughout uh, the course uh, several times. It's a very clear and concise uh, manual. We have the digital copy. If you would like to have a physical copy, do not hesitate to uh, contact us. The big idea of this exercise is you go to a course, you analyze the different instructional parameters, you make an assessment whether you think that's a good course or not. And we also hope by checking these courses, you might find the right ingredients for your own courses in one way or another. That's a bit the underlying objective of this uh, exercise. After you have done that uh, exercise, there will be uh, a third part, which we call the digestive, where we are going to do a quick little assessment on what you have learned by through a multiple choice uh, assessment uh, tool. Now, the fourth part and the final part, which is called recipe for success, is directly linked to what I already mentioned last week in the webinar, is every one of you, or at least every institution or organization, is going to develop its own e-learning project or uh, proposal. Some of you have already a proposal and you basically can submit the proposal as it is using your own institutional uh, document or proposal, project proposal. For those who don't have uh, a proposal yet, we have included a template which follows all the different elements of a project cycle. I think at this stage it's impossible to answer or to address all the elements of the project cycle, but at least give us the background of the potential project and a little bit the direction in which you would like to see your e-learning proposal uh, evolve. And that's the big assignment of this week, so that by the end of uh, this week we exactly know on which kind of projects are we going to work. In function of these projects we will allocate uh, e-learning coaches and they will touch base with you and also set up a kind of learning plan that will determine the following weeks. So four things this week, it's very easy, get inspired in the first part, second part analyze an e-learning course, an existing e-learning course that we have selected for you, third part do a quick assessment and the final part submit your own e-learning proposal and that's it for the second week and I hope you like it.